Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, we'll be creating this fun sprinkle style wedding cake. This video is brought to you by Zyro, an online website building application where you can create your website quickly and easily. I'll be talking more about this later, but for now, let's get decorating. To create this cake project, you're gonna need an eight inch, a six inch and a four inch cake. Mine have all been pre crumb coated and I'm just applying the final layer of frosting. The recipe for this buttercream can be found in the description box below and in the eye icon up top. Create a nice smooth layer of frosting and then bring that lip of frosting at the top to the center of the cake. When working with larger cakes, for example this 8 inch, I find it easier to use a much larger spatula but today I've just gone in with my tiny one. When that top lip of frosting has been brought in, grab a handful of sprinkles and tilt your cake towards the bowl with the sprinkles. With that handful, press it firmly against the side of the cake and bring it up and over the edge, patting it down. You want to repeat this all the way around and I'm not really adding sprinkles right in the center. It's going to be covered so I figured it's a waste of sprinkles. <laughs> Might as well use that for our 4 inch and our 6 inch cake. Once it's completely covered, into the fridge she goes to set for about 20 minutes or so. Work on your 4 inch and you'll be following the exact same steps for this. So just applying that final layer of frosting, smoothing it out, filling in any pockets as you go. It doesn't have to be too perfect because the sprinkles will cover the surface of it completely. You can see there's a 4 inch cake board underneath my 4 inch cake and the same situation is for the 6 inch as well. When it's nice and smooth, tilt it into that bowl and gently press all your sprinkles onto it. Because this is a top, uh, here I am adding all the sprinkles all the way up to the top of the cake. This one goes into the freezer instead for 20 minutes and then we do the same for our six inch, but this time we're concentrating the sprinkles just in the middle of the cake. So grab a handful and just press right in the middle and tap off all that excess. If there's too much excess, you can just use your spatula to help and um, kind of scratch it off the base of the cake. Granted, the frosting that we add onto our cake will hide this anyway, so it's not too big of a deal if you do get any stuck at the bottom. Grab the same color frosting and then go over the top, pushing it out to the sides. And then pipe extra buttercream at the very base of the cake and the very top of the cake, being mindful to avoid the middle. I'm starting off with just a little bit of frosting because as you smooth it out, this will actually expand and stretch. So don't want it to get too close to the center. Smooth it out. Once you're happy, bring that lip of frosting to the center. And then this cake, just like our four inch, will be resting in our freezer for about 20 minutes or so. If you're enjoying this video, feel free to subscribe. We do upload new cake decorating videos every week. Into the freezer. And now in the meantime, we can work on our fondant decoration. So this is Bakehouse fondant that I'm using tinted with some gold gel food color, rolling it out in a log to about three or so millimeters in thickness, and then using a border cutter to cut out this pretty kind of border shape. Once you've cut out that shape, you can roll it up to make it much easier to apply onto your cake. A quick thank you to our sponsor of this video, Zyro. Zyro is an easy to use website building application that makes creating a website seamless, stress-free and easy. It's as simple as dragging and dropping your content onto their intuitive grid scheme and it doesn't require any design or data coding skills. There's more than 100 designer made templates to choose from and 24 seven support if you're ever in doubt. Whether you're building a portfolio or a storefront, Zyro has the all-inclusive e-commerce tools you need to run your online business straight from one place with intuitive management, 50 plus paying options, graphic and logo making tools, and the ability to sell on Facebook, Instagram, and Amazon. Zyro is also affordable and is super fast to load and build your unique website. See the link in our description box under this video and use the promo code RDS to receive 30% off your plan. For the next step, you're going to take that fondant ribbon that we created and unravel it at the base of your 8 inch cake. It does help to add a little bit of water behind the fondant ribbon as you're sticking it on. Just creates a bit of a glue for you. Once you unravel it, cut off the excess and then just pat it down and take off any excess sprinkles. 
Here I'm adding in paper straws, three of them into my eight inch cake cut flush with the top. And this is there to support the weight of the top tiers. You could use wooden dowels or bubble tea straws instead as well. Stick on your six inch with a little bit of that buttercream frosting and then do the same, just adding three straws again in a triangular formation. Add some buttercream and then a lucky last your four inch cake over the top. Once it's centered, press it down firmly and continue your decorating. So I just created another ribbon in fondant for my four inch as well. Cut off any excess. And when you're ready, take a piping bag fitted with a small round piping tip. I've used number two here and pipe a blue buttercream border of pearls just at the base of your six inch. This will help to hide the seam between where one cake starts and the other one begins. Make sure you start this border at the back of your cake so you also finish at the back as well. For the last bit of decoration, I've taken some edible paint. This is gold luster dust mixed with vodka. You could use lemon juice instead. And I'm just using a brush to dab it on the kind of the borderline there of where the two buttercreams meet with the sprinkles. You can also paint in your ribbon as well using the exact same paint. And your cake is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a really fun sprinkles design. I think sprinkles do really, really well for both kids and for adults as well. If you recreate this, please do tag us hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot on Instagram so I can see your awesome creation as well. And for those of you looking to start your unique website, don't forget to check out Zyro via the link in the description box below and use the code RDS to redeem 30% off your plan. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.